Now in lesson 5 you have introduced orbital notation to your students. So this is the orbital notation version of the teamwork game. This game is set up just like you did earlier when you did the board filling version of the game. Basically what you'll have is your students divided into teams where the teams are in this direction. They're seated behind tables or rows of desks and you're stationed at the front of the room here. Students farthest away from you will each have a periodic table of elements and then a piece of paper just like they did in the board filling version. The students seated near, near to you at the center table here will each have a supply of doo-wops and a doo-wop board and the students sitting at the front tables nearest you at the beginning of each round will have no supplies. Play begins by you calling out an element name. Students at the back write down that element name, symbol, and atomic number, just as they did in the board filling version. They pass the paper forward to the next table. Those students, take, taking the information off the paper there, fill the doo-wop board correctly. They then pass the paper and doo-wop board to the student at the front table. It's their job, the students at the front table, to then take and write the orbital notation onto the same set of pa same paper that began at the back table. Once they have the orbital notation written, they present it all to you for your review. The team that manages to get all that to you first earns two points for their team. Any other team that comes in later can earn one point for their team. Suppose your students do not present you with the correct uh, orbital notation or fill doo board or uh, correct notation on the paper. It's your job then to point to the table and indicate that there's an error on in their work and then send those materials back to that table. Note that it's the student who made the error is the one who has to make the correction. Like we said earlier in the board filling version, if a fellow teammate finds a mistake made by another team member, they're more than willing. They're more than uh, able to point that mistake out and then pass the materials back to that student in order to make the correction. They can point out the mistake, but they can't unless it's their own. They can't make the correction. So basically. What this game does is allow your students many opportunities to practice writing orbital notation. Once you play with your students in this position for three to four rounds, allow them to rotate. The students at their front table move to the rear and then everyone else moves forward a table. Like I said earlier, you may consider uh, constructing a more durable doo-wop board, especially for this type game. If you refer back to the doo-wop board filling segment on this DVD, you can find ideas for constructing a more sturdy doo-wop board. That will be found in Lesson 4 segments. Again, enjoy your time with your students and have fun playing this teamwork orbital notation version of the game.